Hello, this is Mark Siomo, who is running for Boston City Council District 9. We're here to ask him two questions on Boston Public Schools. So the first question is, what do you believe is the current state of the Boston Public Schools? A, what grade would you give it now? And B, what grade would you give them when Marty Wall started four years ago? Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity that, that Dig Boston is giving me today. Um, as a proud graduate myself of uh, Boston Public Schools K through 12, um, you know, I feel really uh, fortunate to be in a position to actually affect education in the city of Boston. And um, for the past 10 years that I've been a city councilor, I think we've made great strides. Um, I would say that there's a lot of gems in the system and there's also some failing schools and we need to address that. You know, we have an, an achievement gap not just locally but nationally that we have to tackle um, and I think um, one of the best things that we've done as a school system in recent years was go to a, what we call the weighted student formula which gives gives weight to uh, young people who have um, you know vulnerable circumstances in their life whether it's poverty whether it's a disability it could be autism and by giving weights and, and um, funding schools through the child, the child's needs, it becomes more child focused. And I believe that's been a, a great um, uh, achievement that we've had over the past several years. And, and I believe we're bearing some fruit from that. We have the highest rates of graduation in the history of the system, even when I was going there. Um, we have great teachers. Uh, we have extended learning time now. These are all measures that I believe will actually impact the classroom and give our kids uh, the best chance of, of maximizing their potential. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is making sure that our kids have the best, best education possible to maximize their potential in life. And if we want to talk about income inequality um, or, uh, you know, or any kind of, um, um, disadvantages kids have in life, the only way to overcome it, or one of the best ways, is through education and training. So certainly the future of our city is our kids, and we need to uh, do all we can. Uh, as far as Mayor Walsh, I think he's, he's done an outstanding job working with the school system, uh, hiring Dr. Chang, who I think has been a great addition. We've seen some transition in leadership. We had Carol Johnson. We went through a very transformative time uh, in my first four years in office. We closed approximately 26 schools, uh, closed and merged 26 schools in Austin Brighton. We merged the Garfield with the Mary Lyons, which is a level two school. Uh, now we have the Mary Lyons K-8 to and the Mary Lyons Upper School, so it's almost a feeder and it's an inclusion model, which we've seen great success with the inclusion model in the Boston public school system. So I, I'm encouraged by what I see, but certainly we have still many challenges and certainly many kids aren't, aren't getting the full benefit of uh, a great education of the city of Boston and we need to continue to identify those failings and make sure that we address them and make sure that we don't lose any kids along the way. Um, I would also want to say that, you know, through those, you know, uh, to kind of focus on Alston Brighton because that's, you know, the constituents I represent, you know, I work with every single principal, uh, every single parent council for years, even before I was elected. Um, I was the former director at the um, Veronica Smith Senior Center, and I formed partnerships with many of the elementary schools in, in the Austin Brighton area, particularly the Winship School, because it's literally right around the corner. And we had some great um, intergenerational programs. And, and you know, I work with the principals to create partnerships with like the local YMCAs, the business community, you know, that bring resources and programs to enhance the educational experience for our kids in Boston. One other thing that I'm really proud of, uh, when I ran, I wanted to make sure that our kids that, you know, again, Alston Brighton geographically is also kind of, um, you know, connected to the city by just Commonwealth Ave. And sometimes I think we feel somewhat isolated in ways. 
and transportation becomes an issue. We want to continue to save money on transportation. And when we implemented the new student assignment uh, program just three years ago, we're in our third school year of the um, assignment program, which gives m more preference to uh, kids who live close to schools, which is, I think it's so important. Uh, we hopefully will be able to save money over time on, on transportation and create the kind of communities within schools where parents uh, can easily get involved because, you know, we, I think many, many studies will show that uh, a, a, a child, um, a young student's uh, success uh, is tied directly to parent, parental uh, education and, and in particularly a mother's education. So we have to look look at um, making sure that we have these, uh, you know, these programs in place to, uh, to make sure that all our kids reach their maximum potential. All right, thank you. I think you've already went through a little bit of the second question, okay. but I'll ask it again. Sure. Uh, so the second question is, what specifically are you going to do to improve them? A, how many schools are you going to visit? B, what programs would you add or subtract? And C, how much more money, if any, do you think the schools need? Right, um, so um, I would say I want to continue to identify where we're failing kids. And where we're failing kids, we need to assess what, what, is, what aren't we doing right to reach these kids and these families. Um, in Austin Brighton, again, in particular, you know, we have, uh, I believe the Mary Lyons is a level two school. Uh, most of the other elementary um, and middle schools are level three schools. I want to continue to focus on uh, raising the level of their success because I believe that if we raise the level of all schools to level one and level two, which I would like to add to uh, that I believe we have the highest level one and level two schools uh, ever since we started measuring them uh, back with ed reform in the early 90s. So. Again, we're going in the right direction. We have uh, many challenges to overcome, and I want to continue to work on these issues because, you know, again, um, you know, I want to leave uh, our neighborhood, our city, in a better place than when I arrived. And when I did arrive um, in 2008, uh, there was a, you know, exceptionally bad recession. I think people will remember. We went through a lot of pains, as I mentioned earlier. We closed and merged 26 schools. Um, but we've made great strides since then. We've set up our city in a really strong financial um, situation uh, to the point where we're going to be um, expending uh, millions of dollars over the next 10 years in improving our facilities too, which were woefully inadequate for a 21st century education system. So I wanna to continue to work on those issues, especially the capital improvements to make sure that we're, we're in the 21st century and, and making sure that our kids have the 21st century technology that they need to succeed. Um, you know, and I, as I said earlier, I, I work very closely with principals and help, uh, help identify with them where they need resources, where they might not need resources. And I think it's a constant evaluation. Uh, different, um, stu different years bring different students, which bring different needs and, um, and uh, desires by parents and kids. So we need to continue to be nimble as well and be able to you know, make sure that uh, we continue to reevaluate where we are as a school system, but school by school. And um, you know my relationships with with the schools is really strong. It's a third of the city's budget as well. So we spend um, almost forty percent on Boston Public Schools. We spent over a billion dollars this past fiscal year out of a, a two point I'm sorry three point one billion dollar city budget. So I believe that we need to find efficiencies with transportation. We spent one hundred and sixty million dollars on transportation uh, this, fi this fiscal year. Um, you know, we need to get th those numbers down. We need to make sure that that money goes back into the classrooms. We need to continue to extend learning time for, for families and kids so that they can, um, you know, continue to grow 
academically, but also with the arts programs too. We need to do a better job with music, art, and, and other enrichment programs. And you know, I work uh, very, as I said, very closely with each school to make sure that we have partnerships uh, with local nonprofits and arts groups and other um, youth serving organizations so that we have a really cohesive, uh, comprehensive, holistic approach to education in, in Austin Brighton, but also the city of Boston. All right, thank you. This is Mark Siomo, who is running for Boston City Council in District 9. Thank you very much.